Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier of Ontario. For over a week now, we have been experiencing floods in many parts of the province, including my city of Ottawa. Our hardworking first responders have been hard at work to prevent damage to communities and homes in coordination with our emergency management partners. And our government understands the impact and severity of the flooding, and we take the safety of our communities seriously. I know that people in my riding of Carleton were reassured to see the Premier visit several of the municipalities currently under a state of emergency in order to see the conditions firsthand and to assist our hardworking first responders with relief efforts. Through you, Mr. Speaker, can the Premier please update the House on what measures the province is taking to respond to this ongoing situation? Questions to the Premier. Well, I, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the great MPP from Carleton, the absolute champion. I, I was up in Carleton, Mr. Speaker. You want to talk about a popular MPP. When I was up there, I went and visited a, a, senior, a senior's home. and. They love the MPP from Carleton. Incredible job. But do you, do you, know, do you know who we love as, as well, Mr. Speaker? We love the first responders and the military folks. Look, look at those champions up there. Absolute champions. I absolutely love you. You're the, one of the best in the world. Mr. Speaker, when I was in Ottawa, it was like the cavalry coming Response. over the mountain when we saw the military. They came in, they were sandbagging, helping people because people in Ottawa were exhausted. I just got off the phone with Mayor Watson, making sure and reassuring him that he has the province to support on anything he needs. Thank you. <laughs> Supplementary question. Thank you uh, to the Premier for that response, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for your kind words and for visiting the Care Centre. Uh, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, while our government is hard at work responding to floods, the opposition continues to fearmonger about the ability of Ontario's conservation authorities to respond to flood events. I'd like to read them a quote from Rhonda Bateman, the General Manager of the Sault Ste. Marie Regional Conservation Authority. We are not going to cut the maintenance and flood control program. That can't be done. Perhaps a member from Thunder Bay at Ticocan was not aware that managing water-related hazards are part of the programs and services conservation authorities are mandated to provide. Can the Premier please clarify our government's proposal to make conservation authorities more efficient and effective? Thank you. Questions to the Premier. Through, through you, Mr. Speaker, again, I, I want to thank the MPP from Carleton. We went up. They, they're all all-stars. You're right. Unfortunately, you don't have any. Anyways, uh, to, you, to you, Mr. Speaker. To, to you, Mr. Speaker. As I mentioned, I talked to the mayor of Ottawa. He appreciates the help from the Solicitor General, the Minister of Municipal Affairs, the Minister of Natural Resources. It's all hands on deck, no matter if it's Ottawa. Yep. Speaking to the mayor of Huntsville, which I'm going to be heading up to uh, Huntsville and Bracebridge, and spoke to the mayor of Muskoka Lakes. They're so grateful yep. for our support. We're sparing no expense. Matter of fact, Mr. Speaker, we're putting five million additional dollars to protect the watershed up in Muskoka. Again, I'm traveling up there uh, tomorrow, Mr. Speaker, to see firsthand how we're progressing. And once again, <clears throat> the first responders in the great military is up in Muskoka working their backs off. We want to thank them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolute chip. Thank you.